So the uh, conversation started with um, congratulations for your bachelor's and it ended with uh, the reason you don't have a job is because you look like a parrot. So welcome to my first vlog. Um, today I wanted to talk about my dad. <laughs> Um, and what it's like to live with someone who's unsupportive as a parent. So I graduated uh, from my bachelor's. So my dad calls me to congratulate me. But that qu always quickly turns into criticism and disappointment. And if you have a dad like mine, you know what I'm talking about. So it's been a month. Uh, since I've had my last exam, had to finish up my last things, and I've been um, applying for jobs. But so far, no luck. I've been rejected a lot. Um, it's pretty hard to get a job in Corona times as is, but it's also hard to get a job with just a bachelor's degree, even in the field of science. So right now I'm exploring other options. I'm um, building skills and trying to get some side jobs. Of course I have my channel and I have uh, my Twitch which is really fun but it doesn't bring me any money but nevertheless I still enjoy it so so I've been building new skills like programming but that is something that makes me want to claw my eyes out. This year is also gonna be um, a gap year to reinvent myself to see what I really want to do what I love, what I don't love. And this year I want to be open to opportunities and see what comes to my path. And my mom, she's a darling. I mean, she's a little bit crazy and she definitely has her moments, but um, she's always been very supportive of me. She knows I'm not lazy. She knows I'm not, she knows I'm ambitious. She knows I'm trying to make something of my life. But my dad's another story. Um, no matter what I do, no matter what I achieve, he has definitely never openly expressed that he's proud of me or that I'm doing all right. Every time I have something good to share, I've, I have an accomplishment. He always tries to cut me down after. So the conversation started with um, congratulations for your bachelor's. And it ended with, uh, the reason you don't have a job is because you look like a parrot. And um, personally, I don't think my hair is that much of an issue. And even so, it's just my hair. I can dye it. And of course, when I told him that um, Corona times is a rough year to get hired. But it's um, not just today. It's not just this instance. It's um, every time ever. He always needs to express his disappointment in me. And while that was something that um, hurt me a lot in the past, yesterday was actually the first day that I clapped back. <laughs> I, um, I didn't care anymore. I didn't, I didn't really care anymore. And that is something a lot of people should learn to live with. You need to learn how to live with a parent who um, is not supportive of you, who will never say they're proud of you, will probably never even say I love you, because he was not raised like that. And while that is no excuse for the way he's treating me, it does explain it. But it's also a way to lose my respect. And someone who always crosses your own boundaries, um, will not be treated the same way as someone who respects you as a person, who celebrates your victories and gives you a useful open criticism when they deem that necessary. And this is not constructive criticism. And even if it comes from a good place, the way in which it is conveyed is not at all constructive. It is only used to cut someone down. If I had a friend, who treats me the way that my dad treats me, I would cut them out of my life. Um, 
they would not be a part of my life anymore. Why would I want to hang out with someone who is always critical of me, who can never appreciate the things I do or love? He's never been supportive of my hobbies, never been supportive of how I express myself. My whole identity is an offense to him, basically. And that is pretty hard to live with if that's your parent. A friend you can cut out, I guess, but a parent is a bigger part of your life. Of course you can cut a parent out if you wish to do that. Um, but that's not what I want to do. Um, not over something so minor. My father has always supported me financially. And I guess that is his way of supporting me emotionally, but that's not the same. Uh, and I definitely don't want to seem ungrateful for that, because he has given me a lot. But I do have to set my own boundaries. So when he called me, I thanked him for his input. And I said goodbye. I just couldn't be bothered anymore. Normally after a phone call like that, I would cry and cry. Uh, but this time, no, I was just done. I'm exhausted of caring about someone who doesn't care about the things I care about. He cares about me, but he doesn't care about the things I care about. He's got this image of me that is a lazy person, a person that is ignoring the responsibilities. While well, truth is, I've, um, I worked my ass off for my degree. I went through multiple anxiety therapies and mindfulness and eventually medication that actually worked, which I'm really grateful for. Um, I only got it through my last year of university. So um, from that moment on, I could actually start focusing on work and sleep and not be in a constant state of fear, which helped me enormously both physically and mentally and emotionally. It also allowed me to reshape my identity because normally it was ruled by fear and now I have space for other things, which is also why I'm taking a gap year. But anyway, I want you guys to know that if you have a parent like that, it doesn't keep hurting. Eventually you'll get over it. Eventually um, you will mourn the person that you thought they were or that you hoped them to be. I wanted my dad to be a very loving and supportive parent, but he wasn't that. He's not that and he'll never be that. Uh, and that takes time. It takes time to realize that that is not the role your dad will play in your life. And you will learn how to live with it. And you'll make space for a lot of other great things in life. You won't miss it anymore. So yeah, I want you guys to know that. Other than that, I overexerted my knee. Overextended, over. I did too fast, too much, too quickly on bad shoes. So now my knees hurt. I've been walking a lot on new shoes. I actually had to run a bit with like a, a slow motion camera that captures the way you run. And I'm, normal people, Normal people run like this, but I ran like that. <laughs> so I needed shoes that would correct me. Um, and they actually feel great. They feel great while I'm walking and I feel great walking. I'm going for a walk in the, after this video. So other than that, um, our cats have been assholes. I'll show you. So they've chewed off the ends here. I hope you can see. Um, and that made them bark a lot. So I'm not all too happy about that. I don't know what kind of plant this is. Uh, it says, I will bring you happiness. <laughs> I don't know which one it is. We were really worried they were sick, but then no, they're just assholes. They're assholes, but I love them. Like my dad, he's an asshole, but I love him. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this highly personal video
it's uh, I'm not really sure what I want to post here. I think I'm gonna post a lot of different things here because I'm a person with a lot of different interests and a lot of different hobbies and I can dive into something, another pro but I get bored easily. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm just gonna post whatever the hell I feel like. There you go. Say bye, kitty. Bye-bye.